supposed to be uh, flat silver. It sure doesn't look like a flat silver to me. Painting the alternator right now. I don't know. I didn't expect it to be that color. Can't remember the last time I used this paint, but eh, at least it'll be better looking than what it was, grubby looking. So I think I got about two coats on that. Let it dry for about a half hour. And uh, we'll turn it over and hit the front a little bit. Hey, that's how we do a flame paint job. Now I use the uh, propane torch, warm everything up, bake the paint. Sometimes the paint on the cardboard lights up. Whoa, it burnt the shit out of my paint job. Pick that up. That's pretty wicked, huh? That's unique. I think I'd like that. That there, folks, is how you make a bolt to fit the size that you want when you cannot buy it. Six and a quarter. So you just take some threaded rod, cut it where you want it, stick a nut on there, weld it. Grind it, clean it up, and she's good. That's how you do your own. And I know you're going to ask, is it straight? Is it straight? Pretty damn good to me. I'd buy it. Well, there it is. Painted, uh for the second time. I sanded it down a little bit, scuffed it up, painted it one more time. And we'll let her dry and then that'll be the final. Well there, the alternator's painted and done. The bolt on the front there, the top one, that's the one that I made, all done, painted and everything. I like that uh, smoke from the burned flames, huh? It's kind of unique, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, something different. But everything's all uh, bolted in. I put uh, anti-seize and all the uh, bolts that were going in the aluminum. And the belt is uh, relatively tight. That bottom bolt is a bear to get at because of the belts right there. So it's going to be a fun one. So that's about it. One more thing done. Crossed off the list.